Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Today I get to talk to you guys about a special event that's been in the works for the last couple days, but now we get to finally publicly announce it and talk to you guys about it and let you know what's coming up. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Reactor Con. Now, what is Reactor Con? Well, it's a virtual online event that is happening from July 22nd to the 26th. You're probably looking at those dates going... That seems oddly familiar. Those are the online virtual dates for Comic-Con this year, I know. But the reason why this is happening, why these are basically at the same time, is because we are putting this event on while Comic-Con is happening, and we're kind of going alongside Comic-Con and essentially having our own reactor con and kind of celebrating our geekiness, our nerdiness, and just loving everything about Comic-Con and just making videos and having fun with reactor con. Now, what is exactly ReactorCon is probably what you're asking. What exactly is this event? Well, essentially, it's, it's just like Comic-Con this year. It's a virtual online event where we get a bunch of different reactors who love things that get shown off at Comic-Con or promoted, like movies, TV, video games, comic books, especially comic books, and other stuff like that you would normally hear about. And we'll just be here making videos on our channel, collaborating with other reactors within ReactorCon, live streaming, podcast, playing video games, just having fun interacting with all you guys. And we're just having a good time. We're making videos. We're just celebrating us as just being geeks, nerdiness, all that kind of stuff. And just celebrating Comic-Con as a whole. Talking about things that get announced at Comic-Con this year. All sorts of stuff like that. It's really going to be fun. Brit Smash, the creator of ReactorCon, brought this idea forward to me and Nathan Rojas a couple days ago in a video chat. And said, wouldn't this be a really cool idea? And we've all been running out, asking reactors. And here is a list right now so far who we have confirmed as I'm uploading this video. And what we're hoping is that this announcement going out, other people apart that have joined on to ReactorCon, spread the news, spread the hashtag, spread the, the image, the logo, and talk about it hopefully in videos, that more reactors will join on and it'll just be a really fun time. A lot of potential collaboration. There's gonna be some collaboration though for sure, but hopefully this will just become something bigger than what we anticipated because we were just expecting a couple of reactors having fun using the hashtag ReactorCon and just celebrating Comic-Con as a whole, but it seems this is building to something potentially even more. So this is really, really exciting. If you were looking at that list for reactors confirmed for ReactorCon and went, hey, that person's missing, that person's missing, reach out to them. Tell them, hey, you should join ReactorCon. Tell them to reach out to Brit Smash, myself, or Nathan Rojas on Twitter or wherever else they can get a hold of us and get in contact with us and get them to join up because we want to get as many reactors as possible to come together to celebrate Comic-Con, be part of this ReactorCon event. It's all about just having fun. They can set their own schedule. That's the beauty of this because we didn't want people to feel like they were required to do certain things and they had to be around at certain times. They can set their own schedule. And then the ability to collab and do live streams and talk about what's happening at Comic-Con at, at the time, you know, what's being announced there. It's, it's the beauty of it. So hope you guys are excited for ReactorCon. I'm really excited as well. Been pushing, getting a lot, trying to get a lot of people on board. It's been a great time so far setting this thing all up. And I hope you guys are excited as I am because I'm ready for this shit. See you guys soon. Peace out.